get this lined up. about the same size get them as close as possible and we cut them a little bit longer so we're all right then what we need we'll cut a little bit off just to just to make them the same length should even them up fairly well. So that'll be the starting point of our steeple. Now what I'll need is a couple other short pieces because these are going to have to be mitered together. Uh, when we look at this steeple, we've got a lot going on here. Uh, the two halves are going to have to come together and we're going to have to do a miter and put those, or do a a, a route routed uh, channel in there, and so they come together. So we're not taking up any uh, more of this wood. It, both sides have to be equal, so you don't want to butt one up against the other and make one side shorter than the other. So the best way to do it is going to be to put an edge along here on one piece and an edge on the other piece, and then join them together at the middle. So we'll cut a short piece. For uh, that'll basically be the top portion, and the top portion looks to be if we're doing 11 inches down here, we probably need to do about 8 to 9 inches for that top piece. So we'll work on that. And nobody ever said I was uh, completely organized, but we try to try to keep it a little bit organized. Uh, it is it is important to uh, keep things clean so that you don't injure yourself by the messes that you make but also you can't be too organized I don't think artists are known a lot of times for uh, being overly organized kind of um, a lot of us exist kind of in uh, creative chaos but uh, I do like things clean and I like to keep them fairly organized. But the busier you get, the messier things get sometimes. Let's see. Eight inches should be enough. We got plenty of wood. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take this to actually 10 inches on both, just so we have enough. 10 there, and 20 up here for the other piece. You just want to have it covered. So, I'm going to put an X on those so we're not doing that line so we don't cut the wrong ones. Now remember, this is a creative process. This is, uh, this is scratch building uh, without a plan. Or just an idea at least we have a prototype we can work with but uh, not much more than that so a lot of times like I said it's just an idea sitting on the top of my head and uh, you just start working and go from there not to say you're not going to make mistakes along the way but hopefully the finished product doesn't have any mistakes and it turned out just the way you thought it was going to Of course, a lot of times it, it turns out much better than what you thought it was going to be, so that's always good too. Right, these two pieces are just a little off, so we'll go ahead and trim those down again. Take a little bit off of those. And they look 
pretty even. So what we'll do is join them together like this. And for doing that, we want to make sure that we do get them exactly halved out. Uh, you don't want one sticking out longer than the other. So what we've got on there is about three quarters of an inch. So we need to go about three eighths all the way down. Or actually three sixteenths. Three eighths. I was right. And this will just give a reference point for when we go to the routing table. Then we'll know approximately. This is something new. I don't do this all the time, but I'm using this uh, spackling blade as a uh, straight edge. All right, <clears throat> let's take it to the routing table now. Now the router and routing table has been probably one of my best uh, investments this year. So it's a, a tool that has really uh, comes in handy. And if you're not familiar with what a router does, it basically this has a table, and underneath is the router, and you've got a bit. The bit comes up. You can slide wood along the fence. It takes material off the wood. You can make a, a decorative edge along a piece of wood. It's great for making picture frames. You can channel cut things so that they fit together real well, make um, sturdy wood joints. And it's really been a piece of equipment that has really come in handy. And we use it a lot now on our signs and frames and so forth. So really good to have a, a router and router, router table in the shop. Of course, underneath you see the uh, the router, and we'll be using that to cut that uh, channel along those two pieces of wood.